Hey everybody. Oh my god. Look at this box. Would you, would you just look at this fucking giant box? Oh shit. It's so big. <laughs> if I try to lift it, I'm going to burst something. I'm so fucking excited. It has been so long since I've done a Killstar unboxing. If you're not familiar with Killstar, they are a gothic fashion brand which has basically, in the last few years, taken over. Every festival market you go to, every alternative shop you go to, every online store you go to just about, there is Killstar. I do feel like they have rather dominated the gothic fashion scene in the last few years. And I think that they've earned it as well. They keep bringing out things that appeal to a wide variety of tastes. The prices are reasonable. It's always really good. Like, I think they're very fussy about their quality. I've, I've got so many things from Killstar over the years. I was in town recently and somebody said, oh, I love your bag, where did you get it? I said, oh, I got it from killstar.com. I actually uh, sorted this dress and these shoes and this bracelet and some people in the past have criticized me saying all you ever do is kill star unboxing well i actually haven't done a kill star unboxing for almost four years anyway got my beautiful knife let's fucking tuck in this is a big fucking box we've got a lot to get through <laughs> what i really like is they have expanded their range so far beyond just Fashion. They have like a whole section that's just homewares and stuff. I think because they felt a wee bit sorry for me with my recent Halloween shopping, how unsuccessful I was, that they've sent me some wonderful spooky homewares. Yeah! 10,000 thank yous to Killstar. I'm so fucking excited. In this box, there's fashion and there's homeware. And the fashion. <laughs> Well, if you've been keeping up with me, you'll know that I'm at the moment about six months pregnant. Mm. So the clothes that are in here are things that should accommodate the, uh, the current baby bump body shape. The smell of newness. Holy shit, there's so much. I feel really, really, really spoiled. Gosh, sorry if this lighting is a wee bit weird. I'm I'm just not very good at it. I'll just put it that way. I'm just not very good at lighting. Start with we have two black boxes. I'm probably going to bring all of the homeware stuff back with me to New Zealand because we're going back in about a month. Uh, I don't have much by way of decor, but this is nothing too fragile. It's really, really well packaged to pack. <gasps> oh, whoops. Oh, it's awesome! first homeware item we are opening. It's really big. The first item is an urn for keeping the remains of unfaithful murdered boyfriends and girlfriends or something else. Oh look, that's so cute. The feet of it are hooves. Goat heads around it, so like Baphomet heads I suppose. This is beautiful. I love this aesthetic, this combination of occult and Baroque. What should I put in this urn? I'd probably just fill it with sweets. What's in this one? <gasps> Ooh, wow! Are you like me and just have loads of books? These are by far the coolest bookends I've ever seen. Again, they're quite heavy. If you're solid, they are super cool. Oh my god. If I saw these in a shop, I would buy them immediately. Look at that. These are bookends for your bookshelf. How fucking cool are they? This is already infinitely better than any of the stuff I found while out shopping for Halloween decor. Oh, I'm in the market for a coffin shaped shelf, like a coffin shaped bookshelf. How rad would those look on a coffin shaped bookshelf? There are layers, there are many layers to this. Oh my God, I'm gonna go down. Let's open up some clothing. Things that should hopefully accommodate the baby pump. I have a far more significant belly bump, baby belly bump than I had with my first baby because she was really small. This baby is not. Oh, look at this. This is a cardigan. What's it called? Wildcraft Knit Longline Cardigan. This is new. These have like just come out. By the way, all the clothing stuff, I will try them on at the end for you so we'll be able to see what they look like on because it's very hard to tell 
just holding things like this. I chose this because I thought it looked like the kind of thing I could just live in. Especially at the moment because where I am is quite cold and where I am moving to is similarly as cold. I'm going back home. I'm going back to my hometown which never really gets a summer. Oh look at the sleeves. So it's this nice soft woolly knit with flared sleeves and lace and a hood. Oh I want to try this on now. Oh I'm so excited. If you hear snuffling my wee baby in the background has just woken up. Oh my god I have to open this. I've just seen on the label what this is. This came out a wee while ago. And I think it must have sold out pretty quickly. You know when something's out of stock and you can set a thing so that, that you, we send an email when it comes back? I did that for this, for this particular item, so that I got notified when it came back into stock. It's called the Inferno Velvet Black Duster. I love dusters. Oh god, it's glorious. Oh my god, it's so cool. Long, long. Dusters are like long, long cardigans that are open at the front. Oh, the fabric's wicked. It's made of this beautiful burnout velvet. I guess you call it a baroque pattern, but with skulls in it. Their stuff often comes with these warning labels on them. Warning, this garment has been over dyed to make it as black as your soul. So, wash with some other colors. Their stuff is super black. And this is a little one. I think I know what might be in it. Oh my God. Ah! I hope this fits because I have found that they're chokers are quite small. I often will have to stick like a safety pin or something on the back to make them fit my neck. The Naveen choker. The reason I really wanted this is because I already have the matching bracelet. Can you see? I wear this all the time. I love this bracelet. I get a lot of compliments on it. And now I have the matching choker. <laughs> I please fit. <gasps> oh, I think it will, but maybe just. I am a little bit extra pudge at the moment. I gained a lot of weight when I was pregnant last year. I didn't get much of a chance to lose any before becoming pregnant again. Oh, it's gone fast. It's so cool. I love it. I love it so much. What have we got here? Oh yeah. Not your fault you thought I was normal. That's cute. This is called the Bethel long sleeve top. I noticed that in a lot of pictures they had the model wearing it with whatever like thing on the bottom they were modeling. So I thought, well, this obviously goes with a lot of stuff. Kind of cropped-ish, it looked sort of short. This nice, simple, stretchy, yeah, sort of scoop neck top. I couldn't really tell from the pictures that what it was that was on the shoulders, but it's got little D-rings on the shoulders. Not too fancy, but not too casual either. What I always say about Killstar stuff, and I've said it every single time, is that it's effortlessly stylish. If you want to look really fashionable and stylish, Killstar things will get you there with very little effort. What's this one? It was really hard choosing things that would fit my current shape, but I also have like nothing. <laughs> There's not much out there by way of nice maternity clothes, let alone gothic maternity clothes. They'll do me well afterwards as well, so that's, that's the thing. These are leggings. I wear leggings a lot. When I'm going out and dressing up, I'm very much a long skirt, long dress person, but just every other day I'm in leggings. These are anoint leggings. Stretchy, that's what I like to see. What sort of material is this? They feel really stretchy. They feel like they're gonna be comfortable. I don't know if you can see the black on black pattern on them. The print, I should say, not pattern. Again, you'll be able to see it better when I try them on. These look like they're gonna be an everyday sort of thing. Normally, in Killstar, I would get a size XL. At the moment, I am getting a double XL. So, they do do a lot of plus size stuff as well. These sizes go up pretty high. Sweep it out of the box. It goes out of the box. Oh, there's two more boxes here. Ah! Ah! I am a very happy person right now. It's Christmas come early. Dark Christmas come early just for me. Ooh. Halloween is basically Christmas for spooky black clad weirdos, isn't it? We should start exchanging Halloween gifts. Ah, uh, yes! I actually, I've wanted this for ages. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is one of the cutest little drinking cups I've ever seen. A wee while ago they brought out this collection of like cups and plates and bowls with this really cute little Buffermet character on it. Evil drink. Oh my god, it's really big. It's actually quite a lot bigger than I sort of expected it to be when you 
drink your evil drinks. Nutrition facts. 100% darkness, 0% sunshine, 666% 666 witchcraft. Ingredients. Souls. Concentrated darkness. I guess the lid will help keep it hot. No more will my cup of tea get cold while I'm doing live streams. Cute! It's so weird and square. I love how it looks like a wee Tetra pack. What's in this one? Oh, I know what this is. This is another cup, but it's very elegant. Oh, it's so small. It's so dainty. Oh my god, it's adorable. See what I mean? By it's beautiful. Now I wish I had an entire set of it. I've actually got a couple of lovely black teapots, and one of them would be perfect. So that's the saucer there. Black with this grey bat moon pattern on it. Look at the wee handle. It's a bat wing. And there's a wee bat on the inside. It's so perfect. It's so beautiful. Drinking my invisible tea. This is called the After Midnight Cup and Saucer Set. What's next? There's a really big thing. Big. Oh, I know what the big thing is. I've just realised. Oh my god, it's gonna be so awesome. One of my favourite sites in the world. A new shoe box. <laughs> I've got quite a few pairs of shoes from Killstar. I've had them for years, and they are still going strong. Oh, I know what this one is. This is also very beautiful. When I saw this, I loved it. It definitely fits my current shape. The Mythic Mind Kimono. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Ghouls just want to have fun, don't they? Oh, yeah, this is going to be fantastic. I will get to look like I swallowed a beach ball, but also really fancy and stylish. Said this is a kimono. It's got this wonderful tassily trim and what's really cool about it again you'll be able to see it better when i put it on if you look very very carefully the pattern is unicorns and as i'm in scotland at the moment it's extra appropriate oh my god i'm so looking forward to trying these things on what is this one i don't know oh this is a skirt like i said before when i'm going out to things i'm very much a long skirt person lunar layers maxi skirt excellent stretchy waistband that's what we like to see oh it's lovely it's very silky witchy layers or triangles and zigzags or whatever it looked magnificently swooshy obviously in the description box of this video i will link below everything I have shown you today. Killstar has a UK and a USA website. Wherever in the world you're from, you can find the most convenient one for you. I do strongly recommend signing up to Killstar's newsletter because you will find out about sales and things right away. I've been getting their newsletter for years. What's this? I think this is the last garment. Oh, right. I'm a bit afraid to go either way. This is very much baby bump shaped for me. A top, right? As you can see, it's quite short in the body and it has like a peplum waist. Quartz night velvet top. Fabrics, their materials are always beautiful. It's also got the see-through lace panel uh, here. So hopefully it sits in the right place. I do have quite big boobies. Things that are like shaped around the boobies often tend to be quite wrong on me. I thought this would be really good with a long skirt. In fact, it might work with the skirt that we've just opened. It's actually a lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. I really hope it looks good on me. We'll leave the great big pack for last. Penultimate thing. The shoe box. The shoe box. I love Killstar's shoes. nicer than I thought. These are called Vega boots. Vega boots? Vega boots? I like them because they're really pointy and they've got not too big of a heel. I guess would you call that like a kitten heel? Is it velvet? Yeah I guess it is velvet velour. If I can get like shoes made of velvet or PVC I will always choose that over any other material. We've got these lovely pentagram buckles on the side. This nice shape around the ankle. They've got buckles and laces, but they do up with zip. Very convenient. They're very witchy, don't you think? Let me get the other one out. I thought they looked kind of combination traditional goth and a bit witchy. It's so cool. I love, I love them so much. Last thing. It's soft, but it's not a garment. If you liked the unicorn pattern on the kimono, you will like this even more. Oh, very fleecy. This is cool. The Royal Beast bedspread. Oh, look at the fleece. It's so thick. 
Oh, this is like a throw blanket, is it? Or a comforter, I guess you'd call it. So basically, it's a bed spread. It goes over your bed to make your bed more beautiful. It comes in one size. I've got a queen size bed, which is like it's kind of medium sized. Gosh, it's huge. It's huge. If I hold this up, <laughs> can you see that it's got the same unicorn pattern on it? Subtle black on black pattern. Cozy, cuddly, velvety bed spread. It's going to look amazing on my big black baroque bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now for the part that I've been looking forward to. Trying everything on. Without further ado. Let's go. Once again, sorry for the shit ass lighting. And also sorry if you can hear baby noises in the background. I can't make those stop without breaking the law. She doesn't come with an off switch. So the first thing I have on is this velvet peplum top. I really, really hate having bare arms. Really, I should be showing you what it's like by itself but i've got on just a wee bolero to cover my arms it has adjustable straps so i have adjusted them and i was mostly worried that the velvet panels weren't going to like cover my boobies it more or less does and i was worried that this wee see-through part here was going to be you know showing off my bra i've got a plain black skirt underneath pulled all the way up so you can't actually see through the wee gap but there's the wee Gap. I didn't know if this top was going to be a hit or a miss. All I know is that I look super wide. But then again, I am super wide at the moment, so it's very comfortable. It's lovely and soft. And like I said, if I pull that down slightly, normally that's where the wee patch would go on me. So the velvet panels almost cover the boobies, and you can see a bit of my bra underneath, but it's really not that big a deal to me. I don't really care that much. I love this lace, this sort of like, you know, frayed style of lace. I just think that looks so pretty. Okay, I thought I'd try the wee Bethel top on next. It goes down to about here. On me. I guess normally mid waist. Oh, actually, I'll go put on the lunar layers maxi skirt. Hang on, that would be even better, wouldn't it? There we go, that's better. I think I'm going to wear this top a lot. Quite simple, it's really comfortable, it's soft. I think it's going to go with so many things. It's got these wee domes on it. Slightly ribbed, very stretchy material. Got wee D-rings on the shoulders for a bit of flair. I like that, but the sleeves will go all the way down to cover the hands. I think that's a nice look. I really do think this is going to become one of my staples. Like, I'm still going to be wearing this in nine years. Let's look at the maxi skirt now, shall we? This is the Lunar Layers Maxi Skirt. It's rather witchy, isn't it? Very nosy. What do you call this? What's like the name for this kind of triangular zigzag? I've got it pulled up all the way over my belly, so I suppose normally it would be like mid waist. I currently have no waist, so I think it would go down a bit lower and I think it would probably touch the floor. <laughs> so it has three layers. <laughs> With my current shape is just, just long enough. We've got the beautiful silky sheer layer and then this oh it's stripey actually stripey lace layer over the top i'm thankful that that bottom layer is there if it was like an inch shorter i'd be in trouble <laughs> all right here is the kimono <gasps> oh it's lush that's so beautiful oh my god it's so cool wow <laughs> i love it so much this is very accommodating to the shape <laughs> i don't know if i'd call it heavy got weight to it. This is how we model clothes. Can you see the subtle black on black unicorn pattern? It ties up in the front very easily with two ties. Look at me, I'm a big square. It's a big square. I foresee myself wearing this again a lot for years to come. This looks like it would be fun to dance in, right? I think this might be one of my favorite garments. Okay, this is Fucking magnificent. This is the Inferno Velvet Duster that I wanted for a really long time. Oh, wow, it's so nice. Oh, I want to strut. I want to strut down the street with it on. Have to be like, oh, look at me. There's quite a lot of fabric, so it's very good for swooshing. Whilst I'm going to wear this 
peeps. You can see it laces up in the front here, but this is awfully fiddly looking, so to get it on, I did pull it over my head, which is a bit strange for a duster, I think. This, to me, is like the feature part of an outfit. So, for example, underneath, I've just got really plain stuff on, because, like, this makes the outfit, this makes the plain stuff look fancy. Witchy sleeves with a bit of a, a frill to it, but I don't find them annoying. I oftentimes find these long sleeves to be kind of irritating. These are not. I absolutely love the material. It reminds me of flocked wallpaper, but it's got this sort of demonic skull shape to it. I'm just glad that it looks good with my current body. For me, this is absolutely perfect. I love the shape, I love the fit, I love the fabric. Easy way to look really super. What's that? look super. I know. Well, this is the cardigan and like I said I got everything a size bigger than I usually get which I think is most obvious with this because this is already kind of like loose. My first impression is that the sleeves are kind of annoying like they go right down over your hands and they're really long so I feel like if you were eating that would be potentially like kind of in the way. They look awesome you can't argue with that. <laughs> I guess for cozy days when you want to maintain your witchy vibe, you couldn't be bothered getting that dressed up for black mass. <laughs> it's so soft and slinky. Knit is quite stretchy. It does up at the front with a black metal clasp. There's a hoop at the back. <laughs> it's like fucking stupid on me. It's quite an interesting shape, isn't it? Shorter at the back and longer at the front. Jaw dropping. These are the anoint leggings. Anoint. That's a fun word to say, anoint. These are so soft and comfortable, they feel like pyjamas. They feel like pyjama trousers. They look so nice. I think these could be very easily dressed up or dressed down, whatever. Just... Killstar has such a great range of leggings. I have quite a few pairs of nice Killstar leggings. The print is quite subtle but very pretty. It's black on black. A snake and twigs and roses and crystals and a moon. They are quite high waisted. And they have a stretchy, comfortable waistband. Like I said, they kind of feel like pajamas. Oh my god, these are fantastically beautiful. Unlike every other pair of Killstar shoes I have, they have no grip. Oop. <laughs> On the bottom, they're like probably a bit slippery, so probably not great for rainy days. <laughs> I'm really not used to these little tiny heels. I'm much more of a big chunky heel person. I feel like I would need a bit of practice to be elegant <laughs> walking around with confidence. Smooth velvet and the laces are really nice and the buckles are really cool. Too nice to wear. I kind of just want to keep them on a shelf just to look pretty and never ever be damaged by weather or dirt. They're so pretty and perfect and cute. <laughs> these I think would work with all different kinds of art. It. Thank you so, so, so much to Killstar. You've absolutely spoiled me silly. I've had a, a fucking wonderful time opening this. I really hope you've enjoyed opening it all up with me. Thank you very, very much for watching and sharing this fun time with me, this uh, early dark Halloween Christmas. <laughs> Why don't you tell me in the comments what your favorite thing was? Mr. Owl is here and he's just looking at the urn. I rate the urn. You like the urn? I like it's the It's pretty animal. cool. What do you think we should put in it? Coffee. Coffee? <laughs> I just got you a coffee jar. This is a cooler coffee. one. It is much cooler. I thought maybe we could put sweets in it. Yeah, or coffee. <laughs> yes, dear. I've linked everything below if you want to go have a look for yourself. I would never ever promote to you something that I didn't think was good. And I have loved Killstar for years. It's just been consistently excellent. So I feel absolutely honored to have been able to make this video and to share this with you. 10,000 thank yous to Killstar for spoiling me today. I will remain, as always, a loyal customer. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. It makes you cooler. And as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay spooky, and I will see you next time. Bye.